Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and um, I decided to redo the video for signal to noise ratio because I think I've explained it well it was kind of complicated the way I explained it and I think um, after re-watching the video I noticed that maybe the wrong idea comes up of my explanation um, that I've realized after watching it again you know sometimes um, looking at your video a couple of times makes you realize, wait, okay, the way I am saying things might sound uh, different than actually what I'm trying to explain. So here goes, and this is using two pictures. So I will show you one picture, this one, uh, with the frequency of 15755. There's no signal. All you have is background noise on this one, okay? It says dB microvolts. This is the signal strength. Now you say, well, yeah, but you have just noise. Why is there a signal? Because noise is something measurable. I mean, the electronic noise around us, the RFI, is a signal. So it's measuring a signal here. Notice that the zeros here, okay, that is the chip. Looking at the noise floor, which is right now at 29 um, dB microvolts, it's saying zero because it says this is my noise floor. This is where the noise is. So the, f the left number gives you an indication of a signal. The right number gives you that noise floor difference so right now this is just noise so because it's just static it actually measures zero because it understands that this is the noise that i'm getting it's not a signal an actual signal that i'm getting um first of all as a signal gets stronger the left number will go up and so you could have, you know, 40, 50, 60, 70 show up here. As that signal gets higher, its relation to the noise floor changes, which means that the second number will show you a difference. It's going to say, compared to the, no the signal level on the left, the difference with what I measured in the noise floor is this. So the stronger the signal gets, the higher this number will also move up because it's going to tell you that there's a difference between the noise floor and the signal. It's a ratio. So it's telling you I've got this much difference between the signal I'm getting and the noise that I sense is around you. Now, I was listening to Supreme Master TV just as an example because it has a strong signal here in general. So it gave me this, 59.25. What does it mean? It means that the signal level was much stronger compared to just noise. There was a signal there, uh, which was almost 60 dB microvolts. So the stronger a signal is around you, the higher this number will be. And it's telling me that it senses that there's a difference of 25 dB between the noise floor and the signal ratio. Once again, you know, in the video, I was mentioning the other video that I actually removed to recreate it. I was mentioning, don't look too much at these numbers. And you know why? If I have five radios with signal to noise ratio on the exact same setup, I'll have five different measures. Five measures of the signal strength, five measures of the difference in noise, because there's a lot in there that is, it's not accurate. Honestly, I, I don't find any accuracy in these numbers. Um, not on the portables, at least. I, a, a, a really higher-end device probably could have a more accurate measure of this. 
but I find this more an estimation than an actual real number. So basically, you just understand one thing, because a lot of people are lost, they go and they see all the math and the stuff, it's like, who cares about the math? You don't need to have math to understand this. All you need is to understand that the left number is your single strength, the highest number possible, and the right number gives you a difference between that signal strength and the noise floor or the noise, the basic noise that the, the radio is sensing. So that number will also rise if you have good reception because it's going to tell you that there's a bigger difference between the signal and the noise. So that's the deal here. It's telling you a difference, uh, basically. So signal strength on the left and the difference between the signal and the noise on the right is what is it telling you. Now, what it's telling you is you want to have the highest on the left. You have usually a difference between both, and that will always be. But the number on the right, because I think I the way I mentioned it sounded more like um, you, you want that to be zero, but which is not the case. Um, the number on the right is what you, the higher it is, the bigger the difference between the noise and the signal. But once again, when I start tuning around with the different radios, I kind of start noticing that it doesn't mean anything. These are um, really, really almost useless in some way sometimes because they seem to be all over the place in their measures. And I always mention it, and every time somebody tells me, it's like, you know, what do you have as uh, on, the, on the radio? I always say, oh, I just put the clock. Because anyways, the best indication for signal is your ears. You know, you'll have a better assessment of noise, of signal strength and versus noise with your ears than a, a number in the display that you have here. Uh, that uh, could be very different, once again, from a radio to the next. But I hope that this clears a little more the way that it works and that you understand a little better the way that it works. So, simply put, left side, single strength. Think of it as, a, a, you know, an a, a S meter, if you want. The higher that number, the stronger the signal. And the right side is the difference between the signal strength and the noise measured by the radio. So technically, if that number would be 59 over 40, there would there technically should be less noise than a signal that's 59 over 25, or you know, if it was 59 zero, that means that the noise floor and the signal strength is almost the same. And actually, if you look at a very weak signal that you barely can get, you'll see that the signal strength and the uh, is going to be showing you, you know, say um, a, a signal of 35. But here it might say 5. What that means is that, well, the signal's 35, but there's only a 5 dB difference with the noise floor. So that's why a weak signal is noisy, because its difference with the noise floor is so small. That's the indication of the signal to noise ratio. But once again, you know what? Use your ears and stop looking at these numbers because they're, they're far from being accurate from what I see on almost every radio, well, pretty much every radio that I've seen. And um, you are going to, um, you know, I, I use the clock because I, I find it more interesting to know what time it is UTC to whatever I'm going to tune than, than those numbers there. Uh, once again, you know, your ears are the best for really knowing is the signal good and that's it. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. And uh, one last thing, do not compare two radios with signal to noise to see how sensitive they are. Because since these numbers are all over the place, I don't think they reflect well uh, the, um, the, the, uh, the sensitivity of the radio also. Once again, uh, what you hear is really, really a better indication. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.